when you have boards sometimes you might want them to link and share information it's particularly important if information on your boards is connected i have an illustration here where uh, i have a deal tracker uh, where i track the deals that i'm making however these deals i want them to be connected to the contacts themselves so that i have access to the name of the person and also the phone number or the email so we can make use of board connections to have information here connected there what's the advantage imagine uh, i want to find uh, a deal for a particular person let's say i have a thousand deals here and i go to deal 59 now i want to find that contact i would have to come here and then scroll through more than 2000 contacts that's if you have a lot of contacts and that's quite tedious so the easiest way to share information here is to actually create a board connection so how do we do that uh, we just scroll to the end and then click add column then connect boards you notice that when selecting boards um, this is the deal tracker but it's taking information from my contacts so the first thing that will appear is the first column under my contacts which is the people uh, or the name uh, uh, column so what i do here is select board where do i want my information to come from my contacts so there's an option to create a two-way connection you usually do this uh, when you want to create a new column here that also appears in my contacts so that information can be connected to both uh, boards as well in this case we don't want to do that so we are just going to connect this board in a directional way so right now uh, you can create now a mirror column remember we said it's going to take the first column which are the names but we can also create a mirror column which is a column which adds extra information for example we might want to take the email or the phone number to appear on this board but that information is being taken from my contacts so we can edit but right now i'm just going to do it later so that you see what's happening so right now let's say i do it later what happens here is this column in the deal tracker is taking information from the first column here which is the contact column how do we know that for example we want this deal uh, to be uh, from phoenix right levy so let's just scroll uh, take this um, and then move it to the first near the deal name so let's just try and put it here so we want this to be uh, phoenix levy uh, who's going to be the person there and the primary contact for this deal and we can name the deal however we want or even after the name of the person so you see we have now connected a deal to a person right but say i want to call that person i would have to go back to this uh, and then find phoenix and then look for their phone number what if i update that phone number what's going to happen i would have to come back again and check here so what do we do we add what we call a mirror how do we do that we add these three little um, uh, dots there and then we customize the board we add a column right and which is a mirror and we're going to check what the phone number so we click the phone so this phone number is being taken from my contacts board and we're in the deal tracker board once we do that it will then link that information so you find that the phone number is there now if you want to add uh, probably the um the email we can do the same we simply create another mirror there add mirror we look for uh the type they say email right once we do that phoenix levy's email and phone number will appear there so we just need to rename this to say email and this phone once we do that any information that is added in my contacts will be updated here in terms of uh, phoenix levy so we simply need to assign each deal to a person once we do that let's say we 
let's say Madison Doyle, the information for Madison Doyle will appear there. That's how you link boards. Thank you.